This is another example of how a very uh, important circumstance shines a very bright light on something we've known for a very long time. And that is the health disparities of many diseases when it comes to minorities in general and the African-American population in particular. So the African-American population and other minorities, Native Americans and Hispanics, but predominantly the, the uh, African-American population is getting hit with a double whammy. And the double whammy is as follows. The first is the social determinants of health that put them in a circumstance through employment, socioeconomic status, the kinds of jobs they generally have. I mean, it's, you shouldn't generalize, but you can under this circumstances. If you look at the African-American population as a whole, in general, compared to a Caucasian population, and you look at the kinds of things that put them at higher risk of getting infected in the first place, they have a greater pr proportion of jobs that don't allow them to sit in front of a computer and do telework. They're out there. They're doing a lot of things physically where you have interact. So they have a greater opportunity to get exposed to infection. When they do get infection, the fact that the comorbidities that are prevalent in the African-American population, diabetes, hypertension, obesity, chronic lung disease, the kinds of things that put them at higher risk of the serious complications of COVID are the second part of that double whammy. They get hit from both sides. So if ever there was a disease that has disproportionately in a negative way impacting the African-American population, it's COVID. And you ask the question, well, what are you gonna do about it? Well, what are you gonna do about it in the immediate run is to make sure that the resources that are available for early identification, isolation, contact tracing, and getting people to care are focused and concentrated in those areas, those cities, those regions where you have a higher density of African Americans. So that's what you can immediately do. The long term is gonna take decades. It's to get away from those, those factors that lead to the disproportional amount of diabetes and hypertension. You know, the things that lead to diets that are unhealthy. That's what we're talking about when we talk about things like diabetes and other diseases that relate to your lifestyle. 